When I was in the Army, uh, I was given one of the best pieces of advice for a technician that uh, you will probably ever get. Uh, I was in a, a unit that had to do a lot of work on electronics. I mean, a lot. I mean, basically, you clear your workbench and then crap gets piled up again. The crap gets piled up. And, you know, clearing your workbench was a good thing. But the next day you came in and you still had 50 new things to fix. Well, you know, under the rush mentality, um, I, I made the mistake of, of trying to rush too much. I, you know, I try to try to fix something as quickly as possible without verifying that I had actually fixed it correctly. You know, it, it looked nice, it seemed to work good, but you know, that little unit would go out into the field, and 30 seconds after it went into the field, it would break again because I had not fixed the problem properly. Well, one of my sergeants dragged me aside one time and said, "Hey, Sergeant Eli." Or what was it? was a private private Eli? Uh, come here, I need to talk to you. He said, you know, listen to me. You feel rushed right now. You you feel like you don't have enough time to uh, to to get all this stuff done, don't you? And I was like, yeah. And he said, well, well, answer me this question. If you don't have enough time to fix these problems properly uh, from the beginning, I was like, uh huh. He said, well, how the fuck do you have enough time to fix the problem again? I was like, oh. Well, hell, that's a bit painful, but yeah. I mean, if I don't have enough time to fix things properly the first time, how am I going to have enough time to fix them properly the second time? And he told me, you know, he sat me in front of my stuff and he said, listen, I want you to focus on the system that you are dealing with right now and fix that system to your best ability. And then when you get done with that, then you go to the next system and then you go to the next system and then you go to the next system. Don't worry about the stack of systems that, that you have to deal with. Only worry about the system that is sitting in front of you right now and make sure you fix it right properly the first time. So that, you know, there's a difference between doing something quickly and doing something fast where you, where you skip, skip tests or you, you, you skip uh, steps in the process. So, you know, he said, if you, you want to do things quickly. You want to do them right and properly. And when the system is, is, is done, then it's done and it's fixed properly. Because if you, if you don't have enough time to do it right the first time, you sure as hell don't have time to do it right the second time. I saw this a lot when I was running the, the repair shop. We had a, had a very, very good technician. You know, he's very smart. He was good with the clients, but he could not deal with stressful situations. <laughs> I learned this a little too late. So the problem was, is, you know, in the computer world, everything's a stressful situation. It's just how it is. You know, people get angry, people get frustrated, people get stressed, and we take the brunt of it. It's just the way it is. Well, the issue was, he would go to the client site, clients would be pissy and stressed, etc. That's how it is. Instead of simply dealing with their stress and making sure the systems were fixed properly, he would go, he couldn't deal with the stress, so he would just slap these stupid little band-aids on the system. So if the, the, the systems had a virus, he'd get rid of most of the symptoms of the virus, but the virus would still be there. Or, you know, if there was a networking issue, he might get the, the, the networking to work for a day or two, but he hadn't fixed the underlying problem that was causing the networking issue. Well, this means that then in two or three days, we get called by the business client and he have to go out again. You have to go out again and you have to go out again and so we were already busy and now he's going back to fix these problems that should have been fixed properly the first time and this 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 doesn't do good by anybody you know if, if I'm seeing a, my employee go back to out to the same site to fix the same problem multiple times uh, that doesn't give me confidence in him uh, if the client is seeing you know the, the computer guy come multiple times to fix the same problem. Uh, that doesn't give any confidence in, in the client. And also, when it comes time to pay the bill, um, you know, you're going to get arguments over it. If somebody comes one time and they bill out at eight hours or five hours or ten hours the and the problem is fixed, the guy never comes back, that is much easier for the client to stomach than if you have somebody come out for three hours. And then two days later, they come out for another three. And two days later, they come out for another three. Well, then the client is going to say, why am I getting, getting billed for these six other hours? I called him out, and he was here for three hours on the first day. That is when it should have been fixed, and that's what I'm paying for. So, you know, if, if you're billing out $100 an hour, 
they they now only want us to, to pay three hundred dollars versus the thousand dollars that you may be owed. So so the main thing in, in the technology field is, is when you sit down at a problem, you sit down at a problem and you fix the problem. You make sure it's solid. You do not slap band aids on it. You don't you don't do good enough. You make sure that the problem is solved. That will make your life easier and better because it means you're not going back to fix problems that, that, that you already fixed. Uh, it, it makes you look better to your boss because, you know, if you go and, and if you work on something and when you say it's fixed, it's fixed, then, then the boss has more confidence in you. And again, with the client, the client has more confidence with you. You know, if you go in and you fix the problem, and then they know it's fixed. If you go and you put band-aids on it and you keep having to come back, it's the client has no confidence in you, the boss isn't going to have a whole a hell of a lot of confidence in you, and you're just increasing your stress level because you have to keep going back into these situations. So just, if you don't have you know time to do it right the first time, you sure as hell don't have time to do it right a second time. So, so just the first time, just, just sit there and fix the problem.